Hi there, this is Jess again with Luscious Locks. Uh, I have another video for you today. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a really nice, thick, big bun at the top of your hair. It's simple, quick, and it always looks really, really nice and fashionable, and it's kind of a staple um, amongst hairstyles common with women today. Um, because I have short hair, I have a first step for women that do have short hair to make their initial ponytail a little bit bigger. Um, if you do have thicker hair already, just forgo this step. I'll tell you when to pick up with the video. Um, for shorter people, um, this is kind of like the ponytail video. Um, comb all of your hair forward, and you're going to want to take and make a ponytail at the top of the crown of your head keeping all of the rest of that hair out. And I just take a little mini ponytail holder and make your first little pony. And now this one is not going to be as big as the others. You're just going to take the four side pieces, the little guys that you get with your set, and do the beginning steps. So if you're having trouble with this, go ahead and watch the ponytail video again, but just do the first step of the ponytail video. Take your small pieces and clip them around making the little ponytail sandwich that I mentioned in the ponytail video. Take your other one, do it again on the top. These are your wider pieces of the little front four. Take the other one and do the perpendicular move and again on the other side take the other small one and do it again and then this will create the nice little mini ponytail sandwich like I had mentioned in the pony video and that's it you don't want to add all of your pieces this time because you're going to use them for the actual bun for your hair so take your ponytail and you're gonna make it really, really high. And this is where people that don't need to add the little um, first four side pieces, this is where you go ahead and start. So take your hair, and you're gonna pull it all up into a nice, really, really high ponytail. And make sure it's nice and flat and pretty. And for this video, you're gonna see what I'm about to use. It's almost like a giant scrunchie that um, that's, that's really, really big and it's going to make the base of your bun really, really large. You can get them at most beauty supply stores. I actually am considering carrying them as a line um, for, for my Luscious Locks line just to kind of um, add to the accessories that I offer. I also have feather clip-ins coming soon, so keep your eye out for those. Okay, so once you have your hair in the really nice high bun, or I'm sorry, not bun, ponytail, um, Go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight with your ponytail holder. Just a regular ponytail holder will do. Um, or if you have the little mini, um, mini ones like I'd used before, you can use those. So whether or not you need the extensions or your normal hair is, is thick enough to do a high ponytail, go ahead and make your high pony. And then this right here is what I was talking about. You can get them in all kinds of different colors. This is just kind of a neutral color, and they're nice because when you're using them, you can actually take your bobby pins and they go right through it. So it makes it easy to style the bun with. So I'm gonna spray my bangs really quickly because they tend to go everywhere. And those of you who have shorter hair like me, you know what I'm talking about. You just kinda gotta get your bangs to stay and get the sides of your hair to really stay up nice for the pony. Okay, so take this little guy right here and you're gonna put it over the top of your ponytail. Cute, huh? <laughs> and what you're gonna wanna do is kind of just start smoothing it, your hair, sort of evenly around the thing. You can kind of press it down and you can see, hopefully, it's spreading around the piece. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to add more to it. So go ahead and take um, another ponytail holder and just kind of, after you smooth this around it, as much as you can, it's not a big deal, um, 
go ahead and put your pony over it to kind of get it to stay. So it starts to form a really nice base of a bun. And then you'll have all this fun stuff hanging down right here. Um, what you want to do is take this and start with your bobby pins and just kind of smooth it all around in a circle around the top of your bun just to get it to be disguised. And like I said before, bobby pins go in it really nice and neat because it's got lots of holes in the little, little hair piece. And keep taking your hair and keep wrapping it around the base and pinning it as you go. Let's see if I can show you the back as well. It just, it makes a really nice big base for your bun. So I've got one last piece here. Go ahead and wrap this guy around too. And then you've got your base. Now this is a pretty nice size bun but a lot of the buns that you see are really big and plus because of the fact that I didn't have that much hair you can still kind of see pieces of the bun filler in the top of this. If you already have really pretty thick hair it might be okay um, but you're going to want to add a few extension pieces just to make it nice and big and really really get that full effect on the crown of your head. So take for me I take all four of my back pieces the longer pieces with your extensions like I said if you have longer hair already you might not need so much um, volume but for me I use them all it's the same for either way you just don't use as many so go ahead and just like the ponytail in a sense you're gonna take these maybe have them go backwards in a sense and take your clips and kind of push them underneath the pony a little bit at the base of it and you're going to want to keep wrapping it around the base of this bun and snapping it into place. It goes around. And the same for this side. Just keep wrapping it around and snapping it into place. And then do the same with all of your pieces. Just keep going. You can um, you can kind of flip your head over if you want to do the other ones like you did with the ponytail so it so it goes in this direction and snap it and wrap it around and then wrap it around over here as well okay so you have a really thick, nice piece going so far. And you can mess with them and make sure that they're they're really close to the bun so that you can't see them when you start to have to wrap the hair around. And I'm going to keep adding a few more. The ones on the top, obviously, you're going to want to go in the normal direction so that the weft is heading in a back direction. So go ahead and snap them around. And then I'm going to do one more underneath. So flip the hair and make sure it's going, the direction is up. And then you have all of this pony in the top of it. So what you want to do is take your hair and you're going to pull it all up so it smooths over really nice over that large little bun piece that you have in the middle. Can I kind of have an I Dream of Genie ponytail with a huge bump in the center? <laughs> okay, so take it and pull it up and this is where you're definitely going to need um, the really small little, they're so small you can't see them, elastic pieces. Go ahead and take that and put it at the top of that little bun and make sure it's really nice and tight and pull all your hair up around the piece so it looks disguised and then it's just kind of like layers and layers of ponytails and you can see 
how I've got this nice little base that's even bigger than I had before. And you take your hair, and if you have another ponytail holder, that's what you're going to need um, to go around the base of this pony. So all in all, you'll probably need three of the normal ponytail holders and probably around two of the, of the little elastic guys. So take this hair and kind of do like you did before. Spread it around and make kind of like a waterfall that's evenly distributed around the base of your hair. So you've got a nice, almost like a little hole here at the base and your hair is all spread around. Take it and you're going to put your ponytail holder around that base. And then what they tend to do is want to like slide up. So this is where I start using my bobby pins. I'll take a bobby pin and I'll kind of wrap it, um, put it over the, the ponytail holder and kind of secure it down in place so that it holds all that hair around really nice. I kind of do it in the back, in the front. You'll feel where you need to put them so that they make sure that ponytail holder stays down. And like I said before, there's lots of little holes inside of the little scrunchy piece. So the, the bobby pins just press in really, really nice into the piece to hold that ponytail and holder in place. So it keeps all of your hair really nice and evenly distributed over the bun. So the next part, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. You know, a lot of people in Hollywood have the real PC huge little different sections that go over in their bun. Uh, I'm just going to do something simple for time purposes but just start taking your hair in the sections and wrap it around like you had done before and pin it in place and just keep doing that and what this does is it hides all those tracks that are at the base um, of your extensions that you put around to make your um, bun thicker so keep wrapping and putting in your bobby pins and don't forget to wrap around the back too so that you can hide those tracks in the back and it'll start to look really pretty and nice take one more And then it wraps around and you've got a nice, thick, really, really big um, bun in the back. And it looks really, really pretty. Um, and it's a nice, quick updo. I may want to double check. You've got some pieces hanging in the back. Um, but take your mirror like I always do and just always don't forget to leave the house without looking at the back of your hair. Make sure all your pieces are nice and um, wrapped around and secured with your bobby pins and then you can spray your um, hairspray to make sure they stay. Make sure the nice back is nice and because my hair is shorter, like I said, sometimes I gotta put some bobby pins in the back of it to make sure that it, it stays up. But voila, you've got a nice, um, thick, beautiful bun of hair at the top of your head. And then, so if you're going to the office, you're going to have maybe simple earrings and a simple top. Um, maybe have your, your nice glasses so that you look all professional. <laughs> and then if you're at work and you have to go out later that evening, um, it's just a quick, quick um, few steps that you can do just to, to dress up your, um, your outfit or your hair. cat eyes. It's really quick so it goes from day to night really, really fast. It's a very versatile look. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, once again, just visit um, the contact page for my email address. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.